We saw the potential uh, about esports and the sim racing world and future technology. And we obviously, with many years of experience in real racing, we know uh, what, what you need, or we hope we know what you need to entertain people. And uh, we think now it's time for future technology in sim racing on a high level, very professional uh, teams and drivers and manufacturers and partners. And I think uh, it's, a, it's a great idea. And uh, that's why, yeah, we, we came up with it and we founded the company. And uh, now it's our official start. What I could see in my career in the real motorsports is that the simulation became more and more important. Uh, we are doing so much, we are spending so much time and effort in our simulators back at Audi Sport or all the other factories are doing the same. Because obviously it's quite a lot cheaper in the end. You can run every day basically in it if you want. You can develop whatever you want. All the directions are possible. First of all virtual, uh, uh, virtually obviously and then you can see if you can adapt to a real car. And uh, I think um, uh, Gran Turismo is still great, you know, everybody's using it, uh, you can drive all the cars. So what I like about it, uh, what we are doing with R-Factor 2 uh, a as a simulation program, as we know them from real uh, simulators in, in motorsports, they know a lot about physics and we think there's also a route we can go together with our project, uh, the World EX Championship and, and them together. But you can feel that uh, the cars get more and more realistic. And uh, like I said before, what I love about it is you can be at home and drive against anyone around the world. At the same time, same level, you can choose your car, you know, what racetrack you want and, and how else you, you are possible to, you know, you don't have the chance normally. Of course, I'm in a very lucky situation that I could drive in my career so far a lot of nice cars, uh, but not anyone, uh, not everybody can do that. And, and that's why I think it's a great, uh, a great new uh, idea and uh, parallel to real racing uh, I think there's a lot of potential still of course it will never uh, take away you know the fascinating uh, uh, how do you say feeling about being on a racetrack watching real cars uh, going uh, you know door to door racing but I think there's a, a lot of potential and that's why it's growing up uh, so fast the real racers they love it I mean myself I got into it and you get addicted uh, I think uh, a lot of people, young people, but also all the generations, they are getting into it. Some have it at home, different levels, of course. And uh, to combine that into an entertaining show, I think that's important because it's so easy. You can be, one guy can be in Japan, one guy can be in Brazil, one in Europe, and they race on the same racetrack. Of course, you will have the F1 or the historic cars you can use and so on, but we really want to go a step ahead and we really want to have like hydrogen, battery, you know, electric cars. That's what the future is in motorsport, on the road as well. And I think here we have a great chance to, uh, to do it in the virtual world.